Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. I'm hoping these videos improve with time, so let me know what you think down below. This time I'm tackling bunkers, at least looting them. Bunker missions and other FPS missions are really good for getting some extra cash and getting extra loot. You can keep pieces you like and sell the rest of it for some good money. Why spend money on armor and guns when you can get it for free, or at least only pay the iron price? Plus there's tons of guns and armors you can't buy in store. The best ones, really. What you probably don't know about me is I'm a recovering loot goblin. Some days are better than others, but I'm dedicated to my recovery. Anyway, I'm here to share some tips and tricks and my method for looting bunkers. Okay, let's start with the equipment. Now you don't have to run a bunker with anything except maybe a sperm suit, because you can get almost everything from the bunker itself. I mean, who doesn't love a naked bunker run? But if you're going for efficiency, there's a few things I think you should have. Some chest pieces only let you equip one primary gun all backpacks let you equip too. Plus, if you need to take your helmet off it, to drink, it's much safer to stow it in your backpack than in your ship or in local inventory, just in case you walk out into a moon or out into space. If it's in your backpack, then you're just a few clicks away from not dying. Go ahead and get the rest of your armor. Equip all the med pens and the ammo you can, grab your gun, I prefer to have a suppressor, laser, and scope equipped, and equip a mag gun with a tractor beam. I like to have an extra multi-tool with tractor beam already installed because the game likes to drop the one on your suit and won't tell you when you do. Also grab a stack of extra med pens and some bottles of cruise and more ammo to go in your backpack. I may be paranoid, but I'm also prepared. The last bit of equipment you'll need is a 1SCU box. You can buy them on the cargo decks of the lower orbit space stations like Seraphim. They come in 1, 2, 4, and 8 SCU sizes. We're only interested in the 1SCU box today. Patch 322-1 had just dropped at the time of recording, so the first mission we're going to do is a security assessment. This means landing at a friendly bunker, and you can just park right in front of the door. Try and position your ship where you can easily toss things inside your ship from the bunker door. This will come in handy later. One thing that is always good practice is turning off your engines when parking on any surface. Put full power to shields while you're at it, just in case. Grab the box on your way out and close the door behind you. If you leave the door open, and someone like me will just take your ship and park it upside down, far away, or self-destruct it just to see what's in the inventory. Like I said, Blue Goblin. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. Oh look, someone brought the old style box down here. The new ones are better, slightly smaller and they actually attach to the cargo. Fun fact about the boxes, both types are invulnerable so you can hold them in front of you as a shield, or use them as a battering ram, but it's kind of tricky. The tractor beam is really useful for moving stuff. Just click and point and use the scroll wheel to control the distance. You can also use it to change components and weapons on unlocked or soft death ship. Switch mode by pressing B, you can use it for traversal in zero G. Spider Man, baby. Fight. Fight. By the way, look out for NPCs with this triangle above their heads. It indicates they're friendly, but it doesn't always show up, so don't assume they're hostile if they don't have one. Also, some helmets will change the color from white to yellow or another color. Always wait until everyone's dead before looting. The 
light armor is not worth as much, but I just really like this Crusader security armor. This corpse is either bugged or is a prop like the ones at Siege of Wars. Either way, I'll have to strip him here and toss the stuff in the box. This is one of my favorite quality of life improvements that came with 318, I think. If you interact with the box, then you can just drag and drop the things near you into the box. Before, we had to pick up each one and then open the box, close it, pick up the next piece. This is so much better. Also, I suggest you have display info enabled, at least level one. You can enable it by hitting the tilde key to open the console and typing R underscore display info space one. This will show the queue of inventory moves the game is waiting on in the upper left corner. If you were to move this box too far away before all the moves are completed, then the remaining pieces will just rubber band back to where they were. Ever put your helmet on before leaving a space station, then later on find you're asphyxiating when you leave your ship? Probably didn't stick around long enough for the inventory move to complete. This is a player's corpse. He might have some good loot. Drag and drop to the ground what you want, and drag and drop them into your box. Boxes always have tiger claws and other useful things. Be careful to hold the box above this little choke point. You can get it stuck right there if it's too low. some of this footage. I like to make a few piles of guns and just move the box to each pile before dragging and dropping them up. Like sweeping up little dirt piles.
running out of time here. Gotta hurry. I actually did run out of time, but thankfully the server was lagging a bit. And this is why you tracked the bodies out and don't loot them in the bunker. It's so fast and easy to just drag them into your ship's inventory. Just hold shift and left mouse click to move anything from the right inventory window to the left inventory window. And if you do that to the undersuit, then everything attached to it goes with it. Pay attention to how full the chest and legs are. The number in the lower left corner of the icon shows the percentage full of anything with carrying capacity. If it's zero, you can ignore it, but these often have some sort of med pens, ammo, or handguns. And you won't get their value when you sell them at the shop if they are still in the market. best not to have corpses on your ship. Security can see them as criminals and open fire on you. And you can't bedlog with corpses on board. I don't need this box either. sell anything while it's in the box, so move its contents to the ship's inventory. We went back to Seraphim to sell, because they actually have all the shops you need to sell bunker loot. Just select sell at the top, and select your ship inventory, and just start clicking.
consider keeping anything that is only one credit. It's still useful even if they don't think it's valuable. I suggest selling by categories to keep things organized. These guns are pretty pricey, but it's not really worth your time clicking away on cheap ammo. And some of the attachments like this 4X bearing scope are only worth one credit, but are really the best scope in the game. This next bunker, grab call to arms and one of the bounty hunter question RT missions. This will send you to a hostile bunker, usually one controlled by the Ninetales gang. This time we're going to load up the box and a mule. It's a little tricky to get it onto the mule's cargo grid, but it can be done. And the mule is such a fun little vehicle. Load it up into any medium size or larger ship and approach the bunker carefully. For this bunker, I just hid behind a mountain. The turrets can't shoot through the terrain anymore. For any of the hostile bunkers, you just need to park two kilometers away or more and your ship will be safe. Don't approach on a hover vehicle. The turrets will see them as ships and open fire. Wheeled vehicles are safe though. Also, you can do this with the tractor beam. While holding an object with the tractor beam, hold R and move the mouse or scroll wheel to rotate the object. The bigger it is, the slower it turns. Cut out the fighting and looting in this bunker to save time. It's just like the first bunker, but no security ever spawns here, so you can shoot anything here and you don't have to worry about getting a crime stat. armor. I think I'll keep it.
So rusty. Should make this a bit easier. But wait, how am I gonna loot all these bodies? They won't fit in the mule. I'll show you. Hostile bunkers, all you need to do is kill the turrets. With something like Akani, you can just tank the shots, but they recently buffed the turrets' damage, so you need to be careful. If there was more than one turret, I may have had to hit behind the mountain again to recharge shields. But this time, there's only just one, so easy peasy. So for the first bunker, the mission contract paid 15k, and the loot sold for 34,326 alpha UEC. The second bunker contract paid 34k, and the loot from that one sold for 61,880 alpha UEC. Plus I got this spiffy armor. There were more lucrative missions to be sure. There's not much more satisfying to goblins like me than stripping everything of value from a bunker. If you have any questions or other suggestions, or if you have any corrections, please put them in the comments below. Happy hunting, y'all.